Hey guys, welcome back. Yes. So as you can see, we have an ID here. Yes. And uh, for some reason, our post variables couldn't go here, but that's, that's not a, uh, a problem. We, oh wait, it might actually be a problem. Um, let me go in here and see what we can do about that. Oh no, actually it can't be a problem. We'll solve that. So we are back here in the admin section, edit part, and we were able to echo this number here, uh, the course ID, but for some reason we couldn't echo it here like this. Okay. We couldn't do that. Oh, we can. So I don't know what I did previously. I think I had typed something wrong, but yeah we can do that there. So all we need now is to read the row and uh, we are done. Now the row is already read when we are here. Let's go to the admin section. It's inside data row. So this is the course. Uh, so every time we load this page, the course is already written. So we didn't even need the... Um, uh, Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes, we didn't need to send the course ID because it's actually there in the in the URL there. So it's already read here. But I was just trying to show you that you can get it from there as well. So let me remove this. We don't need that. The less data we have to send, the better. So here I'm going to remove this course ID. It's not needed. Okay, so let's see if things are still working. So down here, instead of that post, uh, let me come back here. We're going to do row and ID, right? So we're going to just say row ID like that. And let me come to the admin section. Now you see row is inside data because we are trying to send this to, um, Wait a minute, When after we edit here, if we don't go into this, it ends up being this one that's sent here. But we want one we can use in the meantime. So I'm just going to do this. So data raw is equal to raw is equal to this. So both of these will get the value of the final equal sign. So I can put 10 items in a row, they all get the value of the final thing. So raw, at least now we have that, which we can use here. Now, it would be a good idea to say and row at the same time to make sure that row is a thing before we even try to post anything. All right. So now we have access to row in here. So even when we say row ID, it should show us that ID two at the top, which it does. So this means we can even add things like course title, etc., etc. So let me remove this part here and delete that. So here in the input, we're going to add a value of like this row and then a title like that. Okay. So let me try this and there we go. Maybe we'll need to escape it. I don't know, uh, for security reasons, because I'm, I'm not really sure. Let me try and put a script tag in here, right? Let me do this and say alert and then close that script tag like this wrong character i just want to see if uh, somebody puts wrong content in there it will run as javascript and it doesn't so there's no need to escape anything in there okay so row title is fine let's grab this value and take it elsewhere uh, subtitle We'll have the same thing, so subtitle. Let's grab, um, what do we have here? Description will be in between here, the text area. So instead of value is equal to, we just add the value itself like that. And then we'll put description. Description, okay, there we go. And then we come to these guys down here. So here we have, um, let's see, we have categories already. So I want that list of categories here. 
So let's keep the select buttons first and just add things like uh, primary subject. So let's do that because this is text. Okay. And what else? Hmm. Let's look at an image here. Maybe we have an image or we don't. Let's go to functions. Let me see if I have a function here that's already set. Okay, so there's resize image, but I want another function to use to get images. Okay. Uh, that way I don't have to put a... Um... Yeah, let's create a function to grab images for us. Now, the reason I want to create a function for grabbing images is because I want, uh, but before I do that, I want not to struggle with images so that if it doesn't find the image, it should automatically put the no image was available image as a placeholder. So let me refresh and you can see now we have photographers for beginners. We have a primary subject and those are the two things that are available. Description is not, but it's still there. Now we need to fix these so that there's a list here, especially with categories since we already have categories. Now we already did something like this in, uh, where is that? In the, um, when starting the, the course view. So if we go to the very top in courses view, where we have the add section here, uh, you will see that we have, where is that? Category, category, there we go. So if we have categories here already, that's cool. And categories will be there in the row for the course because that comes with it. So what we would do, if not empty categories, uh, wait a second, wait a minute. If we go to the admin section here, uh, in the add, we have this, in the add section. This is what reads all categories. So we need that as well in the edit section. So let's put that there so that we have data categories. But just like this one, we want to use this here before we send it to data there. Mm -hmm. We don't actually need it in data there. We just need it here. So I will remove this data so that it's just directly saying categories is equal to that way we can use it in the view file here. Now, let me get courses as well. First, I want to just load the list of categories. So there's the first one here, but then we will copy these boys here like that. Okay. And then I'm going to go to um, right there. Where are the categories? They're right here. Yes. So right after this one, we will add this. So let's just format it nicely. Move this here. Okay. Very cool. Uh -huh. So let's see what we've got. If I refresh the page. Okay. Variable, undefined variable categories, online 73 in admin section. So 73 categories. So category is the one that's not defined. And that's because it's this model right here. Now, instead of me copying this, we can just describe the model from the beginning. And let's just move this to here so that we'll still be able to use it even if we don't go through this if statement. Since it's at the top there, it will still be available here. So let's refresh again. And this is what we have. So if we go to categories now, at least we have a list of categories now which we can choose from. The only thing is we have to tell it which one we're currently on. So currently we just have an ID in here in the courses. So they set select, right? Category ID mm -hmm. and then cut ID, but we need a default value right there. And I'm going to put a comma and the default value will come inside row and category ID like that. That will be the default value. That's how we set the function up to work. And as you can see, there it is, photography and video. Okay, so then we can select something else if we want. All right, cool. Then here, subcategory, uh, level, 
etc etc so at least you know how this works so we can click on a different one come back to course landing page and we have that already set so this is exactly how the rest are going to work alrighty then so now to uh, saving this data is not uh, difficult we will do that uh, let me just let's just add uh, content to this especially the language let me go to my thingy here there's categories and oh there's also prices right hmm who knew there's prices so what we need to do is add uh, select a price we can select a price we need currency as well here and we need a list of currencies so in the next video let's do let's create um items for these guys subcategories select level language and then pricing currency and then we can connect them to this so that we have a drop down list just like this one all right